In the forgotten corner of an antique shop, amidst dusty relics of the past, there resided an unlikely hero named Filbert. Filbert was not your typical protagonist. He was a plain everyday teapot, chipped and weathered from years of use. But within the faded floral patterns of his porcelain surface, an extraordinary secret lay hidden. For countless decades, Filbert had sat on the shelf, passed over by collectors and tea enthusiasts. He had resigned himself to a life of obscurity, dreaming of the days when he once brewed the finest Earl Grey and Oolong teas for a cosy family in a countryside cottage. One gloomy afternoon, as the shop's owner shuffled about, arranging antiques for display, something miraculous occurred. A bolt of lightning, entirely out of place in the dimly lit store, struck the teapot. The room filled with a blinding flash, and Filbert felt a sudden surge of energy coursing through his porcelain body. To his astonishment, Filbert found himself alive and aware, with tiny porcelain feet and a spout for a mouth. He had transformed into a sentient teapot with a newfound purpose to bring a touch of whimsy and magic to the antique shop. Filbert wasted no time in embarking on his unexpected adventure. He rolled off the shelf and landed on the floor with a delicate clink. His porcelain feet allowed him to traverse the store, and he began to explore, chatting with the other inanimate objects that had come to life through similar mysterious events. There was Mr. Fiddlesticks, a battered violin whose strings could produce enchanting melodies, and Lulu, the dancing lampshade, who could twirl with grace. Together, they formed an oddball troupe of animated antiques. One evening, as the shop owner locked up and departed for the night, Filbert and his newfound friends decided to put on an impromptu show. Mr. Fiddlesticks played a hauntingly beautiful tune, while Lulu spun and pirouetted in the gentle glow of her bulb. Filbert, in all his teapot glory, served a steaming cup of tea to an antique porcelain doll named Daisy. It was a sight to behold, a teapot dancing on tiny porcelain feet while pouring tea for a doll. News of these enchanting performances quickly spread, and soon people from all around town flocked to the antique shop. They marveled at the dancing lampshade, listened to the mesmerizing violin, and sipped tea poured by the whimsical teapot. The antique shop became a haven for those seeking a bit of magic in their lives, a place where the inanimate breathed life into the ordinary. Gilbert and his peculiar troupe were the stars of the show, and they basked in the joy of their newfound purpose. As the days turned into weeks, Filbert realized that sometimes the most extraordinary adventures come to those who least expect them. He had gone from being an overlooked teapot on a dusty shelf to a cherished performer in a magical antique shop. And so, amidst the old and forgotten, Filbert found his place in the world, proving that even the most unassuming objects could hold the power to bring wonder and delight to those who dared to believe in the extraordinary.